Hello. Hey. There you are. Uh, my friend, who's an awesome director in California, Los Angeles. His name is Ryan Martin. He's fantastic. He taught me this. When you don't know what to do, when people are looking at you, you do this. You pretend like you're looking at the light and how the light's doing in here. <laughs> hear my kids bouncing around in the background that's my kids bouncing out around in the background so um i had a question about um doing expanding backgrounds on images um, um actually i, I kind of commented on the friend's post mo uh, my buddy mo um moisma on instagram and he um i kind of commented on one of his posts that um, um about the crop on an image and and i told him if he wanted me to show him how to like extend the background um without without um basically do it well so that it, it looks decent um and i'm just going to run through and there's plenty of videos and be way better and way more polished than mine but this is for instagram posts uh instagram carousels so we're going to be setting up like a double wide instagram uh carousel page so it's going to be two times 1080 by 1350 high um, and we're going to be looking at um, actually I think Mo does his is 1920 by 1920 so I will do it for Mo so I'm going to do it um, two times 1920 wide by 1920 high so that um, he knows how to set it up so let's do that I'm going to share my screen so um, here we have some unsplashed images. I've already, I've already downloaded some that um, might work. And um, uh, I'm gonna hide that, pick that out, and drop this image into Photoshop's. Hopefully, Mo, you have Photoshop. Uh, if not, then um, that's fine. You can do it in, I'm sure, one of those other free pixel um, image maker programs. So what we're gonna do is um, because I am not sure if it's 1920. That's 80 less than 2,000. So 160 would be 18, 19, 18, 18. Man, I'm really bad. It's 80 less. So it'd be 160 less at double wide. Don't mind me, I'm just doing math. Um, 1920 times 2 is 3840, isn't it? Yes, I hope. Oops. All right, create that. There we go. Uh, so let me just check this real quick. Um, okay, um, so this is our double wide. 1920 high by 3840 wide um, carousel background post. Uh, I'm going to bring in this guy into my post. And we're just going to see how big he is. He's kind of big, but for intensive purposes, actually it's black and white. And I don't know why it's black and white. We're going to make it do, 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 do mode. Rejaba. All right, I'm gonna paste him back in that guy and I'm actually gonna make it smaller just to see if you guys hate that it really bugs me that now shift is not constraining but it makes it bleh. Okay. Anyway, that's just a pet peeve. So let's just say it's um, this wide. Okay, let's just say it was it was this wide and he he, um, and we're doing a double wide pose, so I'm gonna just put a little here go. Here's my center. So he wanted a like a split reveal, and you know I'm just gonna mock up some text here. Um, for that, um, this is side one this is side two 
And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do content aware scale. So I'm going to first protect our dadpreneur, right? Because we don't we don't want to scale. We don't want to scale this guy. So just kind of doing a dirty, wider kind of oops, I want to just select it. Okay. So we're protecting him and we're gonna to go to our channels. We're gonna create a new channel from our like really quick mass that we did. All right. All right, so we have selected our guy, we've created an alpha, we've created a channel, right, for our dude. I'm just gonna call him dude alpha. Name your layers, people. Come on, name them. Um, that's what it looks like. All right, so now we're going to open up our, we're gonna select our dadpreneur. We're gonna just here, select your dadpreneur, all right? And we're going to grab our layer, okay? Now, you're gonna notice up here on this bar, on the top, on the bar up here at the top above your documents, you're gonna notice the options for your tool that you're using, all right? So right here it says protect, and we want to protect the dude. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scale. We're gonna hit shift and we're going to scale. Look at that. Wow, yeah. And we're gonna scale. We're gonna scale. Boom. Now it's not perfect. Ooh, man, he got buff. It's not perfect, right? Okay, so it's not exactly the way I want it. I'm gonna do this. We are going to protect what is this dude alpha and shift. Yeah, and we're gonna do we're gonna do it in two steps. All right. Why you ask? Uh, really, because it needs to be done in two steps. Are we, all right, we're still protecting him. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit to our alpha, actually. So see how it kind of like, oops. She see how it kind of got a little closer as we scaled it out. It actually moved the alpha a bit out. So we're going to uh, add that back in so that the camera is projected as well. All right, cool. Now, I want to protect this bush too, which would be good to protect. Awesome job. Uh, it, we don't want to scale that. Okay. So now we're going to come back here. That just means that the, the alpha layer is on. Up. And now we're going to shift command option C so we can scale one more time. Protect the dude alpha. And we're going to scale again. Yeah, there we go. How are we doing, how are we doing, how are we doing? Still safe, still safe. Whew. I think we did it. Boom, look at that. Okay, like I said, it's not perfect, right? And um, what I'm gonna do now is some secret sauce. Not so secret, I mean, some kind of basic cloning. Um, tool action, that's not what I want. 
Where's my screen? Alright, this is not good. Alright. Use my clones again. What? Oh boy, this is weird. Oh, that was weird. See that? Whoa. Oh. Okay, so my clone tool, sample tool, whatever, I'm going to sample all layers. Actually, I'm just going to sample this one. So, current layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a fancy brush. One that is not boring, basically, um, so that we can disrupt some of this texture here and make it feel a little bit more natural. And that's, that's really it. It's all we're going to really add to this. Let's try this one. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to clone this. It doesn't really matter right now what we're cloning. I'm just going to like kind of. Oops. Going to just disrupt it a little bit. All right, so I've kind of done a couple of things. I put a small, slight uh, vignette on top just to kind of add to a little bit more of the uh, mystery of the image. But I mean, obviously, it's optional. It's just a preference thing. It also kind of helps hide a little bit of the, the roughness of everything going on. Um, and I put a, a layer of noise. So I'm gonna zoom in here. So what that helps with is it kind of unifies the image. See how this noise here is a little bit more rough. I mean, we can, I can spend some time really just kind of come in here and um, smooth stuff out um, as well. We can get our, um, we can get our blend um tool and, and our blur tool and kind of like just blur stuff around and, and play with stuff but um for the same time right now we're just gonna uh show this and so <clears throat> when you put a layer of noise over everything it kind of really unifies the texture it helps a lot anyway i know this texture is kind of rough here but it really does help the to unify the image texture um, so it feels a little bit more cohesive. Um, I just put a, a neutral gray and you do some, some noise on that and then, um, set it to, you set it to overlay and I was taught this in school by, uh, one of my motion teachers, but just to add some noise to something and we can get in here and, and adjust the brightness as well. Really want to. 
Okay. Check it a little brighter. So now the gray is so neutral that when we do an overlay layer, the only thing that's showing through is the is the noise. As you can see, like it really does unify the whole image that way. I took some of the noise off of him uh, because I didn't want to, I didn't really want to, we didn't really touch him too much. So I want his noise to kind of like be as natural as possible. But um, if I did turn it off, um, you could see he's, it actually does, maybe it does look better. Yeah, maybe it does look better with it. I'll just kind of unifies the image as one piece. So that's pretty much it. Content aware fill. And from here, all I would do is um, export this to Illustrator or Keynote Mo. I know you're doing Keynote. So then I would just put my text in and um, do what needs to be done. This is an exact double wide image now uh, that we used content aware scale to increase the background uh, a bit. All right. Hope that helps. I will see you next time. Cool. See ya. And there you go. Also got it. Um, I'll just save this file for you guys. and You guys can use it or not use it. Up to you. All good. And I will link it below. Aloha.